In 62, Ford put the whole galaxy on a diet. This is a special car indeed. While Dodge was burning up the drag strips with 413 wedge engines and Chevrolet was making tracks with their famous 409, the 1962 Ford entries were maxed out at 406 cubic inches. And although they cranked out 405 horsepower through a high compression, aluminum intake, multi-carbed FE series V8, 1962 Ford Galaxies needed every advantage to beat the competition and Ford's solution came in the form of fiberglass and aluminum. Superstock drag racing was really popular in the early 1960s. In fact, by 61, both Dodge and Chevrolet had factory-built lightweight race cars. Well, the Ford engines were powerful, but the cars were too heavy to compete, so the result is this, 1962 Ford Galaxy factory-built lightweight found here in the Brothers Collection. These early lightweights are an uncommon sight for sure. It's rumored that Ford only built about 11 of these diet 1962 Galaxies fitted with fiberglass body panels like the hood, fenders, and trunk lid. They used aluminum for the front bumper and the inner fenders and brackets were also formed aluminum. They all look like regular production parts, which was part of the goal. The Superstock classes needed to stay true to production form, but that didn't mean they couldn't get creative. Inside, Ford ditched the radio, heater, and other non-essentials like the door pulls, sound deadener, and carpeting. The driver sat in a lightweight bucket seat and grabbed the thin steering wheel and Borg Warner four-speed handle on the way to low ETs. The 406 breathed harder through tubular style cast steel exhaust headers and dual exhaust, and the underhood area looks sparse with no power accessories and a trunk mounted battery. These engines ran an 11.4 to 1 compression ratio, churning out 405 horsepower and 448 pound-feet of torque. The four-speed sent the twist back to a 9-inch rear end spinning 350 to 1 rear gears. And this one relies on heavy-duty shocks, springs, and ladder-style traction bars to help the 15-inch wheels and tires grab what they could of the road. A bigger radiator and better drum brakes rounded out that high performance package, and that package was less than 400 bucks in 1962. One of the challenges was that the conversion to make the 62 Galaxy lightweight race cars, well, it took a long time. In fact, by the time a lot of these cars were ready to race, teams were already working on the 1963 cars. So for that reason, a lot of the 1962 Galaxies were rebodied as 1963 lightweight cars so those guys could get a head start on the season. Of the 11 built, only four 1962 Ford Galaxy 500 lightweights are known to survive as 62s. And of those, only two are said to have their original body panels. This is one of those two. The total weight reduction was around 164 pounds, allowing the car to tip the scales at just 3,400 pounds. Knowing how these cars got rebodied, it's amazing that any of them survived, but we love to share uncommon cars like this from here in the Brothers Collection. If you like this action, click that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next lap of Muscle Car of the Week.